first time, compelling evidence suggests that Saturn's Death Star moon may conceal an ocean just below itself, expanding the hunt of potential life in space. Saturn's smallest and innermost moon might be a cloaking ocean world, according to investigators, was spotted by NASA's Cassini probe in the form of a particular wobble in the moon's spinning. Mimas was given its nickname because of its similarity to the infamous battle station from Star Wars, the splashing of a fluid confined just below the frozen crust of the 246-mile diameter moon has now been proposed as the cause of wobble, according to a recent study published in the Journal of Icarus. If this is the situation, Mimas is a different kind of universe, according to findings. Alyssa Roden, a geoscientist of the Southwest Research Institute's Texas, and the research's lead author stated in a statement, If Mimas has an ocean, it represents a new class of small, stealth ocean worlds with surfaces that do not betray the ocean's existence. Researchers have known that the interior water ocean worlds, IWOWs, like Enceladus and Europa, have tidal mechanisms that tend to shatter their tops and display other indicators of geological activity. At the same time, Mimas appeared to be simply a solid block of ice, as Roden put it, at first sight. Mimas' surface was tricking us, and our new understanding has greatly expanded the definition of a potentially habitable world in our solar system and beyond, she added. Researchers constructed an imitation to determine if Mimas' gravitational pull with Saturn can generate sufficient tidal forces to warm the moon's core, allowing the water below its thick external ice shell to stay liquid. Most of the time when we create these models, we have to fine-tune them to produce what we observe, Roden said. According to Roden, these results make Mimas a compelling subject for additional inquiry. Scientists may be able to learn about other possible secret ocean moons a little further out in the solar system by examining the moon's capacity to contain an ocean. Mimas is unique because it is the only identified ocean-free moon. This is because it has no ongoing geology. Mimas is tiny and highly cratered, indicating that despite experiencing enormous tidal effects as it orbits Saturn, it has stayed freezing and geologically lifeless for many billions of years. Mimas's orbital liberation, or change in its inclination over time, was observed by the Cassini spacecraft, and this indicated that either Mimas's interior was unevenly structured, or that it harbored an interior ocean. Mimas' compact size implies that any heat created would rapidly be lost to space. Therefore, it would take a precise balance of tidal heating to keep an interior ocean while maintaining an ice layer thick enough to stay frozen. Mimas is roughly 0 0.000063 as big as Earth. It is the eighth moon in Saturn's system and the deepest of Saturn's more giant moons. With an average orbital distance of 185,539 kilometers from Saturn, the orbit has a minor eccentricity of 0 0.0196 with a periapsis of 181,902 kilometers and an apoapsis at 189,176 kilometers. Mimas completes one orbit of Saturn every 0.942 days, with an approximate orbital velocity of 14.28 kilometers per second. A lot of Saturn's moons are like that. Since Mimas' spinning time period is identical to its orbital plane, it's always had the same side facing our planet. Mimas and Tethys, the bigger moon, and Pandora the outermost F-ring shepherd moonlet, are in two-to-one mean motion recurrence with one another. Mimas is primarily water ice, with just a tiny quantity of silicate stone, as its mean density is only slightly greater than that of water at 1.1479 grams per centimeter cubed. Mimas is similar to Saturn's other icy moon, Tethys, Rhea, and Dione, in this regard. Mimas' egg-like shape results from the tidal forces that form it, this gives the moon a longer, more elongated axis than its shorter one by roughly 10%. In truth, Mimas is only just huge and hefty enough to reach hydrostatic equilibrium with a diameter of 396 kilometers. It is believed that Mimas is the tiniest planetary body to accomplish this. Craters, chasms, and catenae are the three officially recognized kinds of geological structures on Mimas. Craters are one of the most prevalent types and it's believed a number of them have been around since the solar system's infancy. Impacts have pockmarked Mimas' surface for eons, with younger craters constantly covering the older ones. The massive impact crater Herschel is Mimas' most prominent feature. Mimas' huge crater resembles the Death Star from the Star Wars universe. Herschel's is nearly a third the size of Mimas, at 130 kilometers in diameter. Its peak value is 6 kilometers above the crater's bottom and its sides are roughly 5 kilometers high. If there were a crater on Earth that was comparable in size, 
it would be approximately 4,000 kilometers in diameter or somewhat larger than Australia. This crater's contact nearly broke Mimas in two, and its shock waves are thought to be responsible for the cracks on the moon's other face. To this end, Mimas' surface is very similar to that of Tethys, which also features a gigantic crater named Odysseus on its western hemisphere and a chasm called Ithaca, both of which are thought to have been generated by the same event that carved out Odysseus. Numerous smaller impact craters dot Mimas' ground, but none are as large as Herschel. The bulk of the surface is occupied by craters, and the cratering is inconsistent. However, craters greater than 20 kilometers are uncommon in the South Polar region. Pioneer 11 was the first project to fly by Saturn and explore Mimas up close. It traveled on September 1, 1979, at 104,263 kilometers. Saturn's environment, rings, and moon system were photographed by the Voyager 1 and 2 probes as they passed by Mimas in 1980 and 1981. The Voyager 1 probe captured the very first photographs of the Herschel crater. The Cassini spacecraft, orbiting Saturn since 2004, has captured numerous images of Mimas. On February 13, 2010, at a range of only 9,500 kilometers, Cassini performed a close flyby of Mimas. It provided multiple photos of Mimas' crater top and orbital measurements, the latter of which sparked rumors of an underground sea. There's no doubt that Saturn's system is incredible. With so many moons, a wealth of information is gleaned regarding the birth and evolution of our solar system. Hopefully, future missions will be able to investigate some of the more in-depth mysteries, such as what lies beneath Mimas' icy, ominous Death Star surface. Even though it was observed in 1789, the moon wasn't given its current name of Mimas until 1847. This was done to prevent confusion with other moons of Saturn, the moon is sometimes referred to by its original name, Saturn I, by certain astronomers. Mimas is inseparably linked to Saturn during its orbit, referring that the same side of the moon is constantly facing the planet. This is the case with all but two of Saturn's main moons. You may say that this is the moon of Earth. Mimas has a density of 1.15 times that of fluid, suggesting that water, ice, and possibly some rock make up the bulk of its composition. Mimas and Tethys, two inner moons of Saturn, orbit the planet together at a rate of 2 to 1. Mimas's orbit perturbs Methany and a few other minor Saturnian satellites and is also in conjunction with Dione and Enceladus. Due to its diminutive stature, low gravity, and ovoid tidal shape, Mimas cannot be considered spherical, but in terms of its gravitational pull, it is the lightest body in the solar system. Cassini spacecraft pictures showed a highly cratered surface with craters as large as 40 kilometers. The huge Herschel impact crater, which spans a third of the moon's diameter and looks like the Death Star from Star Wars, highlights the cratered icy geology of Mimas. Herschel is 130 kilometers in diameter, therefore, the explosion that formed it nearly tore the moon in half. The Herschel crater on Mimas is over 4,000 kilometers wide, making it larger than Australia if it were on Earth. In 2010, NASA published a composite image of Mimas' surface temperature using information from the Cassini probe, which bore a striking similarity to the Pac-Man character swallowing a dot symboled by the Herschel crater. What an amusingly coincidental occurrence. Since Enceladus, which has a less eccentric orbit, exhibits signs of considerable tidal heating and geysers, the apparent solidification of Mimas' surface is a surprise. That's all there is for today. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please leave us with your valuable feedback if you found this interesting.